welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing okay. So today I'm doing a cupcake flower inspired by AB Creative. I'm doing it on this 24 by 30 centimeter canvas. And let me show you my colors. I'm going to be using Parisian Phthalo Blue by Amsterdam as my base color. Then I've got Primary Cyan and Permanent Phthalo Blue and some silver for my flower and then I have some leftover paints I use for a different pour and that's going to be Berry by, by Deco Art and Garnet by Deco Art and 24 karat gold by Deco Art so those I'm going to use for my uh, swiping so let's get my base color down This should be more than enough. Um, I'm just taking off a little bit of paint on the spot where I'm going to place my mold. Just so it doesn't flood too much in that area. There you go. So let's start by pouring some purple. Squeeze bottle would have been way easier. Every time I seem to forget it when I'm using them, it's gonna be fine. Just do a little bit of the silver because it tends to take over. And this is a lot thicker, otherwise, it will spread like crazy. One more layer. Do a little bit of gold for the center. And let's use the base color and let's give that some time to spread so let's try and pick it up without dropping it I'm just adding a tiny bit of the purple. So let's use this dotting tool to pull the paint to the middle and create the center for this flower. I think that looks nice. Okay, so let's start with the outside. So I'm not going to use any more silver because it's being a little bit naughty. It's breaking up some of my paints. So let's try uh, some berry. And 
a little bit of 24 karat gold. of garnet a little bit of titanium white I think I made it too narrow for my piece of tissue paper I got so I'm just gonna make it just slightly damp. So I'm liking that. Let's do that some more. So I'm really loving what's happening. It's super nice and shiny. I'm going to do some smaller ones in between. Let me get you a little bit closer. So let's see. I'm not going to add a lot of paint. I think I just want a little bit of the blue. Not sure about that one. Okay, that's pretty. Let's do that some more. So here's my wet result. I don't know what that silver is doing. So I might tweak it a little bit because it's breaking up a lot. I'm kind of scared. I want to I want it to have a little bit darker edge. Let's see how it dries and I might think about embellishing it when it's dry just to define that shape in the center a little bit more. It's just I'm using all leftover paint, so I'm not sure what's in each paint. But I'm really happy how it turned out. And I'll show you the dry results. So thank you for watching. See you the next one. Bye everyone. Look at the shine it already has. And it's not even resined yet. Super cool.